So here's the wrap up page for this lab. This is what you need to know, okay? For something to accelerate means it's changing its velocity. It's velocity, okay? It does not mean speeding up, okay? It could mean speeding up. It could also mean slowing down, and it could also mean changing direction, okay? We're not really gonna deal with changing direction so much in this class, okay, right? But we will deal with speeding up and slowing down. So anytime something's speeding up or slowing down, we say it is accelerating. We do not say this D word, decelerating. Don't say this, okay? But why it's complicated, we probably won't get to it, but don't say it, okay? It's accelerating if it is changing its velocity. That's what it means, okay? In this case, it's speeding up, okay? If something has a, a an acceleration of three, meters per second per second, that means for every one second, the velocity increases, right, because it's a positive three, by three meters per second, okay? Every second that passes, the object gets three meters per second faster than it was before, okay? So as an example, here's an acceleration of four meters per second. Let's assume it starts at a velocity of zero, for that. Okay. Zero. One second later. Okay. Oh, I should have put one second for one second. These cars are one second apart. I got to go back and add that. Okay. Right. It's going to go four meters per second. Another second later, it's going to go eight meters per second. And then another second later, it's going to go 12 meters per second. Okay. When I look at the positions, right, I can see that in equal time interval, okay, so look at this as an equal time interval, zero to four and eight to 12, okay, the car covers more distance as time passes, right? When you get to a later time, the car is going faster. So in that same second, it's going to travel further, okay? All right, so if we wanted to do this, we would say 0, 4, 8, 12. Okay, so my velocity graph would look like this. Okay, so the math model, right, would be if I start with my y equals mx plus b, I know my y is velocity, I'm going to call that one v final, right? My slope was the acceleration 4 meters per second per second times the time plus the initial velocity, which is zero meters per second, okay? So notice this looks just like the one for position, okay? Except for now it's about velocity, all right? Okay, now, tricky one. Area under this graph. Think about when we did this before, right? This area here, okay? Before, right, it was a line and then we had a box like this, okay? But it's, oops, but it's not a box anymore. What shape is this now? This is a triangle. Okay, but that box still tells me the displacement, how far it travels. That has not changed, right? The shape is just different, okay? So if the shape under the line um, is the displacement, okay, so this is a triangle, which is going to be one half base times height, okay? So the base of my triangle is three seconds, and the height of my triangle is 12 meters per second. All right, so it's gonna be one half, three seconds times 12 meters per second. See, that still cancels. Okay, so then I get 18 meters, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so this displacement in here is 18 meters. Okay, so if I wanted to make a little sketch, right, I don't care about this middle part, I know the car starts at a position of zero, okay, if that tells me that, it would have to tell me, and then some later time at three seconds, I know it's gone 18 meters, all right? And since it's speeding up, I know that this has to be a parabola, so it's going to look kind of like this. And you don't care about the individual points, it's complicated to do that, we don't have time, okay? We're just trying to make that parabola shape, okay? Right, so this would be the V final would be 18 meters per second and the V initial would be zero, okay? And then it goes a total of 18 meters, all right? That's the wrap up. So hopefully you're kind of catching on. It's a little quick, but we're gonna do what we can.